So I saw this uh, post online about how to set up this, these uh, models, and so I thought I'd make a video to show the uh, XLite side of it. So first, I would take this first controller and add up the channels. So pop up in the calculator, and we've got 1692 plus 270 plus 90 times 3 is another 270. Divide that by 510. So we need five universes for that. And then I can tell by looking over on this side that there's a universe, there's a universe, and there's a universe. So now we've got eight universes we need. So let's go into setup, click add E131. We'll make it unicast to type in those IP addresses. We'll say we need 5 on this first guy, 510, hit the add button again, unicast, 168.20201, he's going to start at universe 6 and be 3 long. So that's all the setup you need to do on the setup tab. So. What I'm going to do is pull this off to the side so I can see both my screens, but this is what I'll be re referencing as I look. So we need a mega tree, and I'll make that guy flat, and he needs to be 12 by 47. Now he's starting at channel 1, which is correct because it's the first channel in our setup, but just to be clear, I'm going to do universe 1, channel 1, notation. And that just specifically shows you what universe you're starting on. And you can see the start and end universes up here. Now the models will daisy chain, so I'll add the second one. It's a Bosco Yo Star. So we need this guy to have 90 nodes, which is probably going to be 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Now you notice that start channel's at the end of tree 1, so it, it automatically goes to the very next channel, which is 1693, that, you know, so daisy chains directly through and inside your Falcon setup you're going to be able to tell it that output 2 starts on 1693 and that's how we how you would route that data for that element out that port or actually th actually that one's on the same port so you don't have to worry about that one but for the next one we have a medium arch so I'm going to draw an arch it says it needs to be 32 pixels and I'm going to leave it daisy chained to that star so so the it'll start on 1963 so like I was saying earlier inside output 2 you will start output 2 at 1963 and then that will wire up to this arch I'm going to control copy, control paste, and I'll name this guy Arch2. And he's automatically daisy chained to Arch1. And then I'll do a paste again. It's kind of a pain when you click, sometimes it jumps to your first model, so you got to click twice. And this will be arch 3. So you can see this arch th this arch is um, oh I didn't get the name change. Let me make sure you gotta click somewhere else or hit enter and make sure it takes. So now we got arch 1, 2, and 3 and each one of them daisy chains to the to the one behind it. So that controller is done. And you notice what I did was I put the first first model on there, 
hard cut to the universe and then I let everything else daisy chain to it. So now that we're going to a new controller for the next output, we need a chroma bulb. I'll hit import, drag you out of the box, and then I need to go to where I keep, well it's going to actually be in this temporary show directory I've got. So there's a chroma bulb and it's already got the 429 channels. If you clicked here to look at the data, oh, we're not going to be able to read those numbers. But if you clicked and looked in there, you'll see that some of the higher numbers are close to the 143. Like there's 42, 40. There's like the last channel or last pixel. So anyway, this guy, he automatically daisy chained over to Arch 3, but since we're starting on a new controller, we want this guy to start right here. Well, that's Universe 6, Channel 1. So go back over there to that guy and just say, I want you to be Universe 6, Channel 1. And you'll see he starts at 2551 absolute addressing, and 2551 is the address of that first universe or the first channel in that universe. Now I can come in here, pick another bulb. That bulb is his start channel didn't automatically daisy chain, so we will do that. I will click on here. And I will say, I want you to be one channel from the end of this model here. So this chroma bulb is ending on 2979. And now since this guy's daisy chained to the end of him, he's now on 2980. So that's done. Now we've got a DMX device. So I don't have a pretty picture for a snow machine, so I need to draw like a DMX moving head. And that'd be the way I'd do it. There's there's a couple other options you could use a single string. But I would just go in here and call this snow machine. And what I want to do is how I think it's easiest to just put the DMX stuff on its own universe. So I'm going to use universe 8. So just go down here, start channel, universe 8, channel 1. Done. So his first channel is going to be the first, first um, channel of universe 8. I don't know how many channels are in that snow machine, but let's just say it was 8 channels. I'm going to go down here to strand names <coughs> and then you've got node names. Under node names here's where I would say is where you want to put your channels. Let's just say this was like a master on. Maybe that's a channel that has to be 255 for this thing to work. Then let's say you've got a red green and a blue channel and then let's just say this is this is what activates the snow so I'll just name those for now so we've got all the models created we've got their channel set up correctly make sure you've hit save here I already hit save here So that's that's pretty much the setup. Now I will show, like if I went in here, I'll do a quick sequence. If you don't know how to do this, just hit new sequence, animation, 20 frames per second, quick start. You've automatically got all of the models you've created on here for an easy way to, to get going. Uh, I like my screen set up a little bit different. I like to put all my stuff across the bottom, kind of 
like that. I don't really need that right now, so I need this guy here. So that's a that's a layout I kind of like to work with. So for this snow machine, let's drop a DMX effect on here. I just wanted to show you that over here in the effect panel, you can see the names of the channels you created. So pretend that's a snow machine. If you turn on this red channel, let's see, I'm not seeing my output. pause for a second while I troubleshoot. Okay, now I know I did wrong. So back here on layout, you have to teach the model where things are because it's not going to automatically know where those color channels are. So I need to come in here. If you if you remember where I typed in these names, red starts at two. So I need to go in here and tell it that red is channel two, green is channel three, and blue is channel four and that will um and let's just say that that shutter is channel one we'll we'll call that the master channel so if i go back over to the sequence i had started <coughs> you can see it's not showing it's not showing a beam here and that's because this master channel is off so you see as soon as i turn on this master channel it and there's probably a threshold there did i say yeah shutter open threshold let's say it's 255 for a model that only works if it's all the way at 255. That that way, anything less than 255, and you'll see that beam shuts off. So now this slider is controlling your red. Adds in green, adds in blue. So that's how you would you could control your your channels in that snow machine. You would be turning this slider on to actually make snow come out, and I'm not sure which values you would need. If you, so I kind of did this more like a fog machine. A snow machine probably doesn't have colors, so this probably doesn't apply to a snow machine, but it would help you if you had a fog machine. And these same concepts would apply for a moving light, <coughs> except I haven't shown you pan and tilt. But one last thing I'll show is you can come in here and drop like a, uh, say, a color wash effect. Pick a few colors. And uh, since I've got that master channel, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to drop a DMX effect underneath this guy and turn on that master channel. Let me highlight both of these. Just make sure they're the uh, same size. So now, if I played across this, you should you should see this color wash that goes from red to green to blue. So you see the beam over here changing from red to green and then to blue. So it's kind of a quick quick little lesson on how to actually use the DMX model that we set up over here. And like I said, since it's a snow machine, you might not need all these channels we defined. This is probably more for a fogger, but the same concept applies, and that would show you how to use a, a DMX model. So it wasn't quite as short as I'd hoped, 14 minutes, but uh, hopefully it teaches you some concepts on how to get set up. now. This is just the X-Lite side. Now you need to go over to the FPP and you need to tell it you're going to tell the first guy that he's receiving E131 one through universes 1 through 5. You're going to tell the second guy that he's receiving universes 6 through 8. You're going to map. You're going to go into each output. On the first output you will say universe 1 channel 1 is his start. For this second output here, you're going to say that he's, um, 
what, what universe do we pick for that? Actually, it's not the star of the universe. So you gotta go over here and click on that first arch, and you can click on the arch here, come back and hover. And okay, now I can see he's universe four, channel four thirty-three. Helps if you click away and click back, and then look at the tooltip. So you would go into the FPP and say that 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 output right here, output 2 is universe 4, channel 433 then you move on to the other controller and we start him at universe 6, channel 1 and then go to his serial output and tell, tell that serial um, channel that it's going to be universe 8, channel 1 so that's the setup you would do in FPP, just kind of a verbal description. Okay, thanks.